So let's talk to Mitch Rochelle. He joins me now, a visiting research fellow at the University of San Diego School of Business. Thank you so much for joining us. All right. So is this a combination of things where we are seeing perhaps that people are just going online more now than ever? Well, I think the convenience of going online uh, isn't something new, Elizabeth, but the fact of the matter is the inconvenience. I went with my son the other day. Uh, he moved into a new apartment. There's a Target across the street. He had to keep, pick up a couple of items, and he said, Dad, I want to pick up deodorant. And we waited for about 10 minutes for somebody to show up uh, in front of the locked case to get deodorant. And if you think about the depravity of it, the thing that they're stealing is deodorant, then he went on to say, you know, we probably need um, detergent for the uh, dishwasher. That was locked up. These are essential items. And the thing to remember is the, the operating model for the Targets, the Walgreens, the Walmarts, is people go in for that one item and end up walking out with 10. Now they're not going in for that one right. item. So it's not just the loss of the sale of the deodorant. It's the loss of the other nine items that people aren't going in for because they didn't go into the store in the first place. Okay, old habits die hard, so I'll admit that I'm still someone who goes to the, the local pharmacy. Now, that being said, is it a, it, could it also be the fact that we, listen, we're in an election cycle, maybe people are dying, dialing back some of their spending habits, there's a, some things unknown? Or do you think it's more clear than that? Do you think it's the fact that people are dissuaded by, by the, the plexiglass cases? Or maybe they've seen a theft and they're saying, I'm not going to do it. Are, are we really beginning to see the end of brick and mortar? No, I don't think we're seeing the end of brick and mortar. I think the disruption of online retail on brick and mortar is something that that ship has sort of sailed. We're seeing a new disruption because when you walk into, um, you know, inner city, urban area, you know, retail, it's not only the plexiglass that you see, it's the four, you know, armed guards that you see also. So it's just not a, an, an inviting uh, atmosphere and the easy, you know, pick up the phone uh, my screen just locked, but I could illustrate. I was literally going to buy deodorant online in front of you. That That's just literally how easy it, it's gotten. But I don't think, to answer your question, that brick and mortar is dead by any stretch of the imagination. One of the reasons why we're seeing store closings in cities is because there's less office workers in those cities because of this disruption from remote work. So people aren't going to the CVS. Uh, the building that I worked in for 30 years in midtown Manhattan used to have a CVS next door. It's gone. It's not gone because of uh, theft. It's gone because there's a lot less foot traffic in midtown Manhattan or inside the loop in Chicago, or you pick your, you know, your, your high traffic uh, office area. Yeah, I mean, it's also just convenience, right, Mitch? I mean, I, I have three kids going back to school this week, and I remember as a kid, we'd go back to school shopping, and now we do it online, right? It's just a, a different world that, that we grew up in. But I'm grateful for you joining us, so we'll see how, how the future looks. Appreciate you. You bet. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.